Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we're going to talk about December's cozy game releases. Historically, December is a very quiet time of year for new games releasing as everyone starts to wind down for the end of the year and also the holiday period. But that is not the case this year as there are a few huge cozy game releases coming this month and I'm going to go through all of them with you. But before we get to those new games, I also just want to make a little check in and make sure everyone's okay after the busy November period. Let me know what games you managed to play this month and if they were any good. I'd love to hear your opinions and also while you're there let me know if any of the games in this video have caught your eye as well. Don't forget to like and also subscribe but let's get to it. If you love Animal Crossing and mobile games, you'll be happy to know that from December 3rd, you'll be able to play Pocket Camp without microtransactions, as Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Complete will be released. Sadly, we will be saying goodbye to the old version of Pocket Camp on November 28th, but have no fear, if you previously enjoyed this game and you want to play with your items on the new version, you are able to transfer over your saved data, and if you've not already done this, you have until June 1st, 2025 to complete the transfer. I do have a whole dedicated video on what we know so far about the changes and the new stuff coming to this version of the game, but the key elements of Pocket Camp gameplay will remain the same, including being able to invite villagers to stay on your campsite, participating in activities and also decorating. There will also still be special events and cookies which will run on a four year loop. Nintendo have also lined up new items until September 2025, but one of the most interesting new features is the addition of a new area called Whistle Pass, where you will be able to see all of your friends and also KK Sider do a little performance of some of his musical hits. As the game will no longer have microtransactions and subscription fees, there is now a one-off fee to purchase, and I do suggest you do this soon if you are interested, as the regular price is $19.99 US dollars, which I feel for a mobile game is pretty hefty. There is, however, a special introductory price which is available until the 31st of January 2025, where you can buy the game for $9.99 US dollars or $8.99 UK pounds, which is honestly probably about the same as what I would pay for one month's subscription, so I'm more than happy to pay this price, and I have already pre-ordered the game. Next up, we have another big release and a game that I'm very excited for. This is Infinity Nikki, which will be releasing on December 5th. A lot of you may already already be familiar with this franchise and Nikki from her dress up games, but now for the first time you will be able to play as her in a beautiful open world adventure game. In this game, Nikki and her companion Momo will embark on a brand new adventure and traverse the fantasy biomes of Myraland. And as you see in the trailer, these worlds are truly stunning and whimsical. From what I've seen so far, I think the lavender fringe feels is probably my favourite. But we aren't just here to explore and admire the beautiful surroundings. Nikki is on a mission to find scattered items across the lands, which include whim stars. These are very important as they allow you to upgrade the skill tree and the ability outfits. The outfits that Nikki wears are very unique and special as each outfit that you acquire will come with special magical powers that include things such as gliding, bug catching, animal grooming and floating. There is honestly so many more as well. All of these abilities will come in very handy on your journey as you'll be required to leap high across platforms to reach new areas and you will also encounter some creatures and boss fights that you'll be required to use your powers against. If you are triumphant in the boss fights, you will also be rewarded. If you are concerned about the combat in this game, from what I've seen so far and from what I've heard people say, it does not look overly challenging, so I don't think this is a make or break if you aren't a fan of this type of gameplay. After a long day of exploring, there is also plenty of things to do to relax, and these include taking care of a variety of animals, which include the fluffy sky monarch, and this animal will allow you to see the world from a different vantage point. There is also a good variety of villagers to interact with, and you can also take part in their mini games. If you still want to explore, you can also go for a ride on your whim cycle, and you'll be very happy to know that there is also fishing. Okay, I tried to put a positive spin on that. I'm not the biggest fan of fishing. 
But this series is obviously based off of a dress up game and the first way you see that is by participating in style challenges and you'll be able to challenge others in the world according to particular themes. To get more clothing, you are able to craft and also shop to get more. You are also able to level them up for higher stats as well. Infinity Nikki does also have a gacha system which you can use currency to open boxes to find new clothing items and some are rarer than others. You will be able to obtain the currency required to open these from activities throughout the world, not just by in-game purchases. All of the items I've seen so far have been really adorable and I cannot wait to go shopping. If you are as excited for this game as me, you will be able to play Infinity Nikki on PC via Epic Games, PlayStation and also on mobile with Android and Apple. The game will be free to play with in-game purchases and there is currently a special pre-order bundle available for PlayStation players which is $7.99 in UK pounds. I will definitely be exploring more of this game on the channel so be sure to stay tuned for more updates. Fans of Greek mythology have to check out this next release. This is Mithrect Ambrosia Island and in this narrative adventure you play as a shipwrecked backpacker called Alex who has washed ashore the mythical Ambrosia Island. Upon your arrival you will find the inhabitants are not just your regular village folk, these are gods, but even gods can have crises too. The familiar gods have actually lost their memories and become fearful of one another and it comes down to you to pick up the pieces by searching the island for mementos to help rekindle their friendships and uncover the real reason as to what caused the rift. To get to the bottom of the mystery you will have to get to know the residents, perform friendship favours and ask some difficult questions to unlock new conversation topics. You won't be doing this all alone though as you'll be armed with your trusty Ambrosia Dex device which will help you track down hidden treasures and the island's inhabitants. Whilst playing detective you will also be able to take in the surroundings of the island, enjoy the beautiful vistas from the sandy shores to the ancient temples, there will be lots to uncover. Mithrect is very narrative heavy but the story is told in a non-linear fashion so you'll be able to do things in your desired order. There will also be a little bit of a challenge but hints will be available should you need them. Upon its release on December 5th, Mithrect will be available on the Switch, PlayStation, Xbox and Windows. Also to be released on the 5th of December is the platformer Symphonia. I'm not normally a fan of platformers but the vibes and story of this game do seem really appealing. This game is set in the realm of Symphonia where everyday life is fueled by music. However, tragedy has struck and the orchestra has disappeared causing the world to fall into silence. To help revive the world you will play as a violinist who has a very special violin that will help you move throughout the world and tackle the different platform challenges. Of course a game all about music has to have a wonderful soundtrack and the musical sounds for Symphonia have all been specially created for the game and performed by an orchestra which is just the perfect touch. Symphonia will be coming to PC. If you fancy yourself as a monarch and you want to build your very own kingdom then you'll want to take a look at Overthrown which is coming to early access on PC on yes you've guessed it December 5th. Overthrown is a multiplayer town building game for 1-6 to six players but don't expect this to be a relaxing experience, this one has a good amount of chaos thrown in. The kingdom you are trying to build is in a perilous wilderness and you'll have to defend your citizens from bandits and mutants. The elements are also against you in this game and you will have to try and survive the seasons and one way to do this is by ensuring you have enough food to feed your residents and to do that you will have to farm the land. A kingdom also calls for buildings and there'll be a variety of different buildings to construct. Some will be more factory based and you'll be able to manage your citizens to make crafting automated. I really also like the feature of being able to lift up anything and easily move buildings so if you make a mistake it's not a worry. This game may not be super cozy with all the combat and threats against your community but it looks pretty cute and if you're looking for a game to play with friends that might make this one a little bit easier and you could definitely have some fun along the way. 
The final game releasing on December 5th is Oli Oop and this is a very fun and slightly silly dog game. Here you play as a skateboarding dog called Ollie who has an adventurous spirit. You will be able to explore many different areas and lots of different parks and cause maximum chaos. As a dog you are also a fan of dog activities obviously so expect to be doing fun things such as collecting bones, sticks and scaring birds. There are also lots of dog friends to get to know, all with some fun dialogue but be aware there are some grumpy ones out there. Of course, a dog game would not be complete without unlockable hats. Protective headwear is very important when you are performing all of these skateboarding tricks after all. Ollie Oop will be available to purchase on Steam. If you're in need of some laughs during the winter period, then Cave Hikers is releasing on Steam on December 6th. This is a humorous yet wholesome 2D adventure game that is narrated as if the characters are from their very own nature documentary, Move Out of the Way, David Attenborough. The mockumentary will follow three main protagonists, Warrior Aki, Alchemist Valeriano and Mechanic Vuvo, who are on a quest to find a mystical cave with an infinite ceiling. Sounds dubious to me. On your journey, you will have your very own book of caves which will be filled with sketches of fauna and flora and it also has recipes for magic potions. You'll be able to use the book to your advantage to help you collect ingredients and mix some potions. And one of my favourite features is that any character you hover over will be able to wave at the player. These are some seriously friendly characters. Cave Hikers is a relatively short game, approximately two to three hours long, so you should be able to complete this one. As I said, I'm not much of a platform game player, but this next one looks too adorable to pass up. This is the short bread game, not short bread the biscuit, but short and bread, like a short piece of bread. Does that make sense? <laughs> this game releases on December 10th and in this wholesome game you'll play as a piece of bread who has to get to the bakery for breakfast. But along the way you will explore a variety of different areas from mountains to mush filled meadows but even adorable pieces of bread can have enemies too and you'll have to jump and run to avoid them. This game promises some witty dialogue and an adventure, so if you're looking for a wholesome and low stress platformer, this may be a great option for you. In this next game, you get to experience life as an adorable garden bird. This is Garden Trills and this will be coming to PC on December 12th. I thoroughly enjoyed the demo of this game and at the time of recording, the demo is still live on Steam. So if you have a little bit of time, I highly recommend checking it out. Here you play as Tommy, a tiny sparrow who has just moved into a brand new garden with his parents. Your parents will guide you through the beginning and helping you learn the basics such as growing flowers and introducing yourself to the occupants. But outside of your garden, you're on your own to fly around and embark on an adventure. You will be able to interact with the environment for a little helping hand as there are some interesting things to discover, including the use of flowers to help propel you higher into the sky. There is also a cast of residents who may even require your help with different quests and as you progress through the game you will unlock new clothing items so you can become the best looking bird in the garden. It is a truly wholesome and definitely has a sandbox feel to it where you can go off on your own little adventures and do different things so if you're looking for a casual game which is super adorable to play over the Christmas period when it might look a little bleak outside I definitely recommend giving this one a try. The next one is something that Switch fans should definitely be excited for as Sunhaven is finally releasing on the console this month on December 16th. Sunhaven was originally released on PC all the way back in 2023 and I've played a little bit of this game. If you haven't heard about this game, it is a pixel farming sim come RPG. It has beautiful graphics, lots of characters to get to know, quests to complete and it's very lore heavy which is great if you love a good story in your games. There is farming in this game and there are three different farms which all have unique crops, trees and animals. To make farming a little less tedious, there are also farming tools which are upgradable and magical spells which can help your crops flourish. The seasons will also have an impact on your farming as each season has its own weather and special effects. I did mention that there were animals and aside from your traditional livestock, you will also see more fantastical creatures such as silk moths and werewolves. Aside from farming, there is so much to do including fishing, crafting, decorating, 
mining, festivals to attend, museums to fill with the artifacts you find, fighting against bosses, and so much more. Sunhaven has ridiculously good reviews on Steam and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will perform really well on the Switch too and get a whole new set of fans. And finally, I just have a little update on a game that I mentioned last month. This is On Your Tail, and we got an update on social media a few days ago about the release of this game. The developers have decided to push this game back to ensure that the game is the best it can be, which although is disappointing, I totally understand their reasoning. No one wants to play a broken game. So the new release date for On Your Tail will now be December 16th on Steam and it will be coming to Switch in February 2025. So that is a little bit longer wait for the Switch, however, hopefully it will run fine when it does finally release. So there we have it, there are all the games releasing this December. Let me know what games interested you, what one kind of has sparked your interest and you might pick up. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye bye!